Welcome back everyone. Let's continue this little story thing up here. So many Danes, so many Norse. This will be the send-off Heminger deserves. All the funeral preparations are in order. Eivor, my father sets forth on his final voyage. May the winds favor him. The nobles have offered up their funeral. Sound cut off. Oh. Gifts. All but you. Present what you have. I and have it celebration here. may begin. Shield bearing the sign of the web of weird, woven into the shield as you wove your spirit into our lives. May the skulls sing of you as the gods embrace you. Feast, my friend, in the halls of the free and brave. Stand at my side. Speak from your heart, Heminger son. Today we mourn the passing of Heminger Jarl of Nottinghamshire. My father. Our father. He was a towering force. A strength to fear and admire. Now gone. Yet together we are the example of his greatness. I see him in each of you. His love for battle, but also peace. For wisdom, sorrow, and joy. His generosity, his spirit. In you I see his life and his love of drink. Gods, did he love drink? <laughs> we are these things because he was these things. Father, we shall be to our children what you were to us. And when they are ready, we will meet you again. You have made this old man proud, each of you. And you, us. I don't die like that. That's weird. Nine days, one eye hung from the tree. Nine worlds he saw. Nine runes he found. Nine nights he bled. Oh. Father, receive your loyal servant. Give him a fine farewell. Sunua, ride to Hemford and prepare the longhouse for the Althing. The next Jarl will soon take his seat. We meet again. Oh, that's 
given about for it. Strange. It's storming out here, so. Have they given their Jarl a fine farewell? They have. None drank so well and so deeply as Clan Hemminger's son. The declaration of succession must happen soon, before we are too drunk and exhausted to remember. I agree. Call on those who must attend. The Alding will begin shortly. Eivor! You look... uneasy. I'm not so drunk I cannot stand, but... Hang on to me a moment. You do your father proud by this celebration, and by taking his seat. He wanted this, Willy. I should have given him the satisfaction of accepting his offer while he lived. <sighs> he knows my heart beats for battle and glory, not leadership and wise counsel. As long as I have known you, Vili, you have possessed a strength you rarely saw in yourself. A wildness, a joy for life. You are your father's son, but you have never let yourself be the fullness of that man. Not until now. A warrior rises with the dawn to follow fresh tracks in the new fallen powder. For that is where adventure lies. I will follow these new tracks, Eivor, wherever they may. People of Hemthorpe, of Ulkethorpe, of Snottinghamshire. We honor neither Trigvi nor my father by continuing to mourn. These men dedicated their lives to bettering all of Snottingham. They died in that service. Now, I humbly pledge my life to following in their path. And I ask each of you to rise and be to me what Trigvi was to my father. Together, we shall build the world they wish to build. You have already learned that people prefer shorter speeches to long ones, Vilayal. <laughs> it will take time to wear that title with comfort. My father never swore a formal oath with your clan. This was awfully buggy. There was no need, for you are family. Let it be known, the Hemingers and Clan Raven are true sworn friends from this day forward. Do you accept? Ah. I... Well... Be fair. Be just. 
call upon us often, Arstic. I'm sure I will. I think I'm done with that stuff. Hopefully the next region, which is one of the last ones, will be actually more entertaining than that one. That was okay. Sorry that keeps popping up, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Looks though. ago at a desert oasis far away a place of mid a temple to a hidden god the guardian of this temple was a proud man kingly in nature but not in fact a protector of holy wisdom and this protector had a wife That's a fine. scholar who spent her day I didn't keep talking like that oh hilarious. look at you Chewie Bring fair tidings, Ranbi. Himingar Jarl in Snodinghamshire has passed, but his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He's their Jarl now, and he is pledged to aid us in times of need. Awesome. I want to see the alliance map. Alright, so everything left, it looks like, is this one. Must be one more, two more that's left on the side, but. I then received a message from Winchester from someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Your hidden ally. Very interesting. More targets, I assume. Yes. So what do you think? Could it be a trap? As a West Saxon stronghold, Winchester will be a rather unwelcome place for you. But that is nothing you cannot handle. If you go, Ooh. do not go boldly. Bet. A 
I'll make my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in white at a house of God, and then recite this phrase. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Interesting. Go with care. Another really long awaited fast travel, but hey, it's worth it. Better than traveling all the way on horse or whatever. Take forever. Seed of King Alfred's power, where Hawkshit stained my boots. I will find the man in white in their god's house. Be my eyes soon. <laughs> this must be the house of their timid god. They built him a rich dwelling. Sic faciem wimper felium et ambulato per yoga. Nan cum canibus Even the mighty fall. A Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It's you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. You know these words. And you know why I speak them. I do. But I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. If I must dance to your tune, tell me where to step. In books, one may find such wisdom. We had many in England, before the Danes burned our churches. A few yet remain nearby. Or perhaps a more pious soul in need of charity will reward you with a lesson. I have nothing for you now, but I will return. And God's servant, the Bishop Aylfirth, was mighty indeed in defense of his God. He was a man of surpassing vigor, well versed so. in the Bible, quick of wit, oxen strong, meek as a lamb. But God called Aylfirth to sit beside him. And Aylfirth answered, his body gone to earth, and his sister weeping. So I'm supposed to go. A lord far known and beloved. I give praise to such a man to keep safe. So a gentle wash brings them closer to their God. He 
rose from the dead. A nice trick, and not easily done. Their god brings them light, just as Baldur does. Light as bright as the summer sun. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. The women came with offerings, but they could not find him when they looked among the dead. His resurrection. God breathed on the water, and in the Jordan River he was cleansed of all sin. His baptism. On the mountain, his face shone like the sun, and he became light. His transfiguration. Thou art weighed in the balances, and found wanting. Perhaps you should try again. Speak his story, in order. Divide it. God breathed on the water, and in the Jordan River, he was cleansed of all sin. His baptism. The women came with offerings, but they could not find him when they looked among the dead. His resurrection. On the mountain his face shone like the sun, and he became light. His transfiguration. Thou art weighed in the balances, and found wanting. Perhaps you should try again. What? Speak his story, in order. On the mountain, his face shone like the sun, and he became light. His transfiguration. God breathed on the water, and in the Jordan River, he was cleansed of all sin. His baptism. The women came with offerings, but they could not find him when they looked among the dead. His resurrection. Does it work? I Thou art understand. weighed in the balances, and found wanting. Perhaps you should try again. Speak his story, in order. I am no Christian. I do not know your stories. Then return, when you no longer languish in a pit of ignorance. Ooh. Water, light, ground, yeah. Has his light brought illumination to your darkness? Speak his story. And in the Jordan River, he was cleansed of all sin. His baptism. Okay. So light. On the mountain, his face shone like the sun, and he became light. His transfiguration. The Over. women came with offerings, but they could not find him when they looked among the dead. His resurrection. And Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. Well spoken. Oh. Are the riddles done? That is not for me to decide, for I am not the one who summoned you. If you follow, I will lead you to him. I solved your riddle, and all I get is silence. Who am I to meet? Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush! Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here! May Christ, whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? I learned that my gods and yours inspire tales of equal amusement. They make me howl with laughter. A dull answer, but a battle-blunted axe may yet be sharpened. Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. 
I have invited you here to speak on equal t Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that well from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke was an enemy of Wessex. But it seems someone has already removed her threat from my lands. If you did not hear it was me, you have now. Impressive. The Order of Ancients has surely been crippled by her loss. How much do you know of this order? Only this and little more. This letter, signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The gallows, the quill, the Sikhs, free men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aylfirth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your god. That must sting. Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. My colleagues will do the same. I should let the Order kill you. It would speed our conquest of England. You may remove the organs of state. The cancer will remain. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. <sighs> Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning my reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust? Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor, compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, Great King. But the day will come. I need to... Winchester anyway. Is Alfred king or not? Well, you ain't, that's for sure. So keep your mouth shut and do as you're told. Taken him. Someone disagrees with Alfred educating the people of Winchester. Papers thrown on the fire. Goodwin covering his tracks, or the guards destroying evidence. Broken balls. 
Food scattered. They took him by force. There must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison. I should not be seen in this area. Won't let us lose. Must be blocked from the other side. You're one, two, brother. Thick walls and thicker guards. A place to keep a valuable man. Doesn't feel like a Callens, does it? in Winchester. These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodwin. Do you know why? 
If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I will find your research. Now go before they find their wolf has fled his cage. The leeches would probably agree. Though I'm not sure. Let's regroup beyond the walls! Reeve Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging, a husband and wife to be carried out soon. get on the other side. Must be blocked from the other side. to get on the other side. Goodwin's research against the Order of Ancients. What? <laughs> 
Winchester mourns a good wisher. I am grateful for your help. It's a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favored reeve. This so-called order are nothing but div vile shit Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They're dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name doesn't rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. Alfred believes at least one is dead. You Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. I found this nailed on a door. The quill wields words like a knife. A disputation of tutelage. Pretty chatter with poisoned intent. I will look into this more. The Gallows? What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. The Gallows had you arrested, so he must command the law. Reeve Selwyn? Of course. That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. The Lord works in mysterious ways, <clears throat> taking his servant in so terrible a fire. Bishop Aylford was no man of God. Hush! Someone has hanged men for better thoughts. Drink it or I'll piddle in your pond! By God, Harry Balls, you are a thief and a swindler! Give me the jewel, Alfred Commission! Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylfer. Our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aelfoth was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. Your wife is a baying shrew, Hubert. 
Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. freedom in Winchester. None are safe from his blade. You cannot walk freely through our streets, mocking our laws, our king's wedding. And so I ask, who has the right to determine the fate of us? We keep our wits about I will kill you for this. Who dares to defy Alfred's laws? The degenerates must be punished. You are the enemy of Winchester. Perverter of justice. Who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit soaked beggars a seat at his table. Where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freed men, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree. <laughs> Found on the quill. All right, guys, we'll stop here. Next time, we'll continue the story. Bye. Bye.